Dead the Dog. And, and we're rolling. What Rock. the fuck is up, Grip Crow? Come on. What the fuck uh, is up, everybody? Aaron and Bert. Up. You know what time it is. You know what the fuck time it is. You know where you know where you are. You know where the fuck you are. You're in the <laughs> fucking crypt, baby. Wake up. Time to die. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, <laughs> we are back. What up? What up? For maybe like one. Well, I think this is episode one seventy eight ish. <laughs> I don't know. I. But, I lost track. But we're here tonight for uh, a very special reason. We are here tonight because Aaron and I, uh, on March 6th, we're, for the record, we are recording this a bit late. We're recording this on the 25th. <laughs> uh, it won't come out for a week. But um, on March 6th, we, uh, we was the three-year anniversary of episode one of this podcast not uh like we we actually i mean you know long people that listen know uh uh, uh <laughs> we uh we had like a small stockpile of episodes uh in the beginning that i was like no let's just practice i'll never post them and then i did <laughs> and those were yep. some of our first ever episodes <laughs> uh and um the first one ever was posted march 6th three years ago and so we're here tonight to uh to celebrate this podcast's three-year anniversary and let's definitely cheers real quick what beer are you drinking i got uh, oh man let's show me real quick me for this <laughs> sorry 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 well here i'll show mine real quick while you're grabbing that yeah. look at that. i got the okay you got the berserker all right yeah, yeah. and would you Four say the would you say the percentages again like oh, this stuff. Sorry, I don't know if my microphone's making any more any noise. Oh, uh, it's, uh, yeah, so seven point five. It's uh, I don't know, Marquette, Michigan. So right out here. Oh, fuck yeah, so, fuck yeah. yeah. Well, I was at the uh, store earlier and noticed that they were selling indiv individual cans of this motherfucker. Oh hell yeah, yeah. White Wolf. Great, like Byer How you pronounce it? Wolf? I don't know, Beyerwolf, Beer Wolf. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Should be called Dog Man. Um, but uh, <laughs> true facts. It's Great Lakes Brewing Company. It's a limited series. Nah, I know they're in Michigan, but it doesn't say where. And this is a German style beer. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's six point six percent. But I did read this in the store. And I was like, do I really want to try this on a podcast? I'm not sure. Because uh, this is not uh, this is not a mixture of flavors that I, I would normally choose. Um, cold brew coffee, chocolate, and orange peel creep deep into the heart of the German style uh, Dunkelweizen, uh, transforming... <laughs> Transforming a once traditional brew into a uh, hauntingly decadent hybrid. I try that. That sounds good as fuck. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it smells banging. Yeah. Smells like beer. You know, it smells so like I, like, uh, I got two hearted. I like, uh, what is it? Uh, breakfast out. It's kind of the same, like, I don't really know that like one. chocolatey I, kind of, like... Interesting. Yeah. So that's probably... I'd probably... I'd probably like that quite. That sounds really good. Well, I'll tell you if you like it. Let's find out. <laughs> this... Uh, hey, cheers. Fucking skip it. Cheers, on. my brother. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I did the same thing. <laughs> sorry, I forgot what we were doing here. Okay. Okay, Aaron. Aaron, okay. I'm okay, Aaron. If you're gonna put Honestly, a beast on your can, it might want to, you know, you might you might want to live up to it. <laughs> I will say, it doesn't quite live up to the artwork. The artwork is phenomenal. Like this could be an <laughs> album cover. Yeah. Like whoever did this, <laughs> great job. Yeah. Um, it's I it's do get like. 
Got what? Go ahead. I was gonna say it's funny because I picked this up because like out of the corner of my eye, I saw I saw the name of it and I was like, okay, you know, that's that's pretty metal. And then like as I was looking at, it, I was like, that basically it looks like a early like deathcore logo. Yeah. Was, like yeah. Fuck it, I'll try. <laughs> it, it almost. So, I mean, it almost looks on. like. It almost kind of looks like some Dahlia artwork. Oh wait, that one. Is that what you're oh. talking about? I was talking about the wolf. Both, both, yeah, but yours too, yeah. I feel like they've, kind of... they've had a couple of shirts with a... Yeah, That's what I'm like... saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Some of the shirt artwork. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> um, But, uh, but yeah, no, it's... Uh, yeah, I got, like, uh, after hints of... Uh, sorry, we might be burping a little bit tonight because we're actually drinking beer. Uh, but we got, like, after... I got after hints of coffee. I don't really taste any chocolate. It's kind of like... To me, it kind of tastes like uh, it's a little bit lighter than an Oberon, and that but similar, or sorry, sorry, uh, two hearted, um, yeah. but then it does have like after hints of co- of of a, a coffee flavor. It's weird, kind of interesting. I uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Mine's like mine's like drinking the thing like a, just orange juice, really. Which I didn't expect uh, either. I thought it oh, was going to be a little heavier and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is. I thought this would be heavier too. Yeah. But hey, you know. Fuck it. it. It's good. I like um, it. I'm not. I'm not like choking it down. Like that's that's the thing about like trying new stuff. Sometimes it's like you get stuck with too much of it, and you're like, ah, I don't really. Yeah. That's. Then, like, so you're like, well, it's here, so I may as well drink it, and then. <laughs> oh well, yeah, it. yeah. Uh, that I mean, that's the only fucking reason why I got this is because I noticed it was you know I could just get one can. Yeah. And just try it. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah, Love that. I like doing that. Um. There's a lot of places around here you can do that at. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. <clears throat> But uh, uh, that I guess right there was somewhat of an example. Um, I don't, I don't really, I don't even totally know where to start with this. But uh, <laughs> I guess I'll start there. That is uh, an ex- like if anybody has been watching the show, uh, uh, the channel lately, uh, you'll notice we started doing um, hot sauce videos. Um, we've got I think like three up now. Yeah, two or three? It's been fun. Well, we got two with us, but you got one. I got one, one solo. Two. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's you, right. That's right. Yeah, I did the Keith one. Did, yep. You did it. Well, you I mean, even though we didn't I didn't make a video for I wasn't in on that one. Like I'd still so we You still try tried to, that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still tried it. And it was I wish I would have tried it on the episode because it was really good. I liked it a lot. I liked okay. it probably Maybe a little bit more than the few that we've tried so far. Like it's it it's kind of close next to next to DSI for in, sure. In terms of like, like day, heat. in terms of like day to day use, uh, that for me, that one and oh another one that I didn't try on camera, the Stevo one, uh, oh, yeah, are neck and neck, is, neck yeah. and neck. Like those two are like flavor wise and just like day to day go tos. Mm. Like it, it, yeah. and they're like it, uh. You know, if I want to be more uh more exotic than Frank's Red Hot or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh uh yeah yeah I, I like those two a lot, a lot nice. a lot. Uh, but we we've yeah, so gone. The the Steve O stuff was was really good too. So I was, I was kind of surprised, but it, I feel like that <clears throat> that's a little bit more of a. You know, I'd I'd put that on like you know nachos kind of, or like yeah, some, kind of an everything sauce. Yeah. You it's know. it's it's comparable to like, you know, and and I'm, this isn't like a like a bad thing because I I tend to fuck with Taco Bell sauces, but it kind of it kind of yeah. had a little bit of like a like a fire sauce. Okay, like Taco Bell with a little more flavoring to it. But I dig that. Yeah. I like the yeah. fire sauce. Yeah, that was Taco good. Bell. So yeah, I don't really like Taco Bell anymore, but I like the fire <laughs> yeah. sauce in Taco Bell because they fucking yeah. took away everything I like. Fuck them, dude. God damn it. Don't took get my me started. Took, took my, my quesarito off my the menu. Mexican pizza, bro. Right? The had Mexican forever. pizza, bro. It's like, classic. And it's all my staple. favorite, all my favorite burritos. Yeah. You fucks. Yeah. But uh. Anyway, that's another episode. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go off about talk about in the Grammys. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. <laughs> well. Don't Buckle get up. us started. <laughs> yeah. We'll be here for four hours. 
motherfuckers. They didn't, they didn't even they didn't even acknowledge no. power trip, so fuck them. Or 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 Bodum. Which should have been right. No, and, and that's that's and, not and they, and that's they not, want, th- and they yeah. fucking bullshitted Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. That's not that's not a stab at, at body count because for the record, no, 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 I, no. I fuck with them and, and I love I not only love body count, I giving, love that track. The track yeah, that they yeah. won for. I, I showed you sh- I showed you and Preston that track when it came out. Like yeah. I, I fucking, I was the first one in our little group to fucking find that, and <laughs> I fucking, like I was into that immediately. I love that fucking bum yeah. rush track. Yeah, dude. That, Still that no clean water and flint. That is really good. Yeah. And the video is sick as fuck, dude. Yeah, that's cool. Love the video for it too. Like, so no, that no, last, no. That mad EP that they put out was was awesome last year. Yeah, yeah, dude. I was surprised. No, like mad. Shout out and huge respect to to uh, to body count and like I even said on that fucking <laughs> when we we were talking about this on that hot sauce vid that last hot sauce vid uh, uh, the DSI one um you know Lamb of God Metallica Megadeth I think Slayer you know they've all been nominated and 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 many of them have won Iron Maiden you know what I mean uh uh you know not one to, to Ozzy sabbath you know but uh, they have to to me that institution has proven itself more times than not to uh uh uh, genuinely have no real understanding of this music genre to me uh especially if you look at outside of power trip and body count uh, uh, uh yeah body count uh outside of those two Look at the rest of the nominees. They're not even metal. And yeah. Ozzy came out with a new album. Lamb of God came out with a new album. Amazing albums. Yeah. Uh, Dahlia. Uh, mm-hmm. Hate Breed. You know? Like, there are so many better options that they just ignore. And so yeah. they're clearly... There's clearly something going on. What's going on, I don't know. But there's clearly something going on that... Maybe it's and you know what most Occam's Razor. The most likely thing is whoever the fuck is on the nomination, whoever picks the nominations for that category, they have a, a you know they like a band or their friend is in a band or something like that, and that's who gets nominated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not actually it's not legit. You know what I mean? It's not uh uh uh. uh I can't think of the word, but yeah, it's not like yeah. fuck. I can't think of the word, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not uh, like I don't know, legit. Yeah, I don't know. I I tend to because I watch a lot of Anthony Fantano, the the, the 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 internet's busiest music critic or whatever. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. the best teeth in the game, the, <laughs> the melon. He goes by many names, but. <laughs> Uh, the and, man of anyway, many names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was I was watching his because uh, every year he goes through the the Grammy nominations and the winners and stuff, and I don't know, like he some sometimes some of his his tastes are kind of over my head. Like the winner of that night the, was Bill Burr. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah, it's fucking In hysterical. Real yeah. Fucking hysterical. Um, so I I tend to watch a lot of a lot of his stuff and and like. What he was kind of saying was that, and I'm not really sure how the how the voting or how it all gets put together, but there's like a committee of people that yes. like that some of them have weight in the industry, and that's the only reason that these artists get nominated. Sometimes yeah. it's like it's a whole and I there's, think it, there's I, a lot of politics that are involved. In yes, it. yes, 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 yes. And I think it's the same with the uh, Oscars, and I think the uh, uh, nomination committee or whatever of the Oscars. So it might be the same for the Grammys. Actually, changes every year. So it's different people every year. Um, so that's why there are some years where it's legit, and some years yeah. where it's, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, well, it's like I, I'm never, I'm never surprised by it anymore. No, 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 no. Us like, as metalheads, you know, us, <laughs> us as metalheads going in, we already know we're gonna get fucking shafted. It's not, uh, yeah. Well, and, like, and metal fucking, and I get no yeah. respect. 
Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, metal and, and hardcore and, and just rock music in general, it's yeah. not, you know, it's never been about awards and nope. shit. Like, it's all, you know, nope. the real, the no. real shit. Exactly. Is, exactly. Uh, because guess what? Real um, shit, Sean's. What's better? Uh, being in a snooty, stupid fucking room theater or whatever. Well, it's a nice theater. But, be, you know, <laughs> being in a fucking... You know, you know, like, you know, in, in, in a, in a fucking situation where you're around all these fucking people where you feel like you got to act a certain way or whatever. And like, you get up on stage and you get a little fucking trophy and you fucking recognize, yeah, the recognition feels good. No question. But let's be honest. What feels better? That or getting on stage in front of 50,000 fans at Vakken. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> which would That's, you do aaron this two different worlds oh well, you know obviously yeah like at this point i take i take i take playing yeah i take playing a side stage at max for like two oh! people right <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me <laughs> at this point yeah at this I'd point i play to yeah. the sound guy fuck yeah. I don't... <laughs> let me be the drum tech <laughs> yeah whatever yeah, like oh god yeah yeah i'll this play point, the yeah. other bands <laughs> like, yeah yeah but no right? to your to your point yeah for sure like i would like and that's the thing is like it's never unless unless it is because you know we do have the the golden god awards or whatever and take that whatever we, you will we, like there are no no, no, no. i love certain, I, we we've yeah. made some of our as as the metal community we've made some of our own shit and yeah. i um put that higher on my on my list than the Grammys. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to fucking bullshit people here. When a, when when body count wins, I celebrate it. When Lamb of God wins, I celebrate it. When a real fucking metal act wins, I celebrate it. Yeah. You know, it's a good... I yeah. celebrate it as a good thing. When they... Uh, finally, the fucking Grammys are giving us a look this year, I guess. But outside of that... Yeah, no, it's the Golden Gods, and it, which I don't even know if they do anymore. Uh, it ran for a few Probably years, won't. but I'm not sure if it's yeah. still a thing. I mean, they, they uh, but I always loved last it. Year, obviously, but yeah. Did yeah, they I have was, one was, in 2019? Do you know? I think so, yeah. Did they? Yeah. Okay, all right, sweet. That, I think I remember watching bits of it. Yeah, um, all right, fuck yeah. I don't know if I've seen any of it, but yeah. I've well, de- I, I re- and recently I've watched a bunch of Alexi's acceptance speeches. At the Golden yeah. Gods and stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, it's it's cool to, that we have something like that because there are, yeah, it's our thing. Yeah, there are legitimate people in in this, you know, this music that that deserve so much more than what they're yeah, as far as like the recognition and the you know, I mean, talking about you know, D. Snyder and and the- I don't feel like a lot of times Ozzy gets the you know the credit that he deserves. Dio. Or, yeah, Dio, you know, Dime. like, yeah. I mean, well, but let's be real. They've all gotten in my, okay. I mean, they've, in they've my, definitely. In my as, opinion, they've all gotten more recognition than Alexi, you know. Yeah. I feel, you know, I feel, yeah. So to your point, mm-hmm. there are countless unfucking believably talented artists that just, yeah. I think we both agree have not ever gotten the recognition that they deserve. It's in the, you know, as far as not getting recognized or as far as like the, the whole loss thing or the, I don't even know if they did like a in memoriam thing or whatever, but uh, you know, well, as they, far did. As that, they did, yeah. but you said they left out power trip, even though they were nominated. Oh, well, I don't, I don't know if they, if they were included in that. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I, I didn't, you I didn't, didn't watch, watch it? it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch it either. So because I, I heard just, I heard Van Halen got shafted and I was like, the fuck, fuck you. Yeah. Like, what, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what are we talking about? Like, I'm oh. not even the biggest Van Halen fan, but like, come the fuck on. You gotta you gotta, you gotta fucking gotta, respect yeah. that motherfucker. Like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, how many people did he inspire to pick up a fucking guitar? Mm-hmm. Like well, it's, I, millions. I've, it's it's the same, it's the same as like if they were to leave out. Oh man, like like Nipsey Hustle from like two years ago, from from the Grammys, from being like at least like you know being recognized for that. And like even though 
you know, and that's that's kind of one of those things that I view it, I view it in in kind of the same way. Where it's like I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm a fan. I wouldn't say that that I have really listened to to his music or you know whoever it is. It doesn't have to be that, but it's like you know, there's still a level of they they were you know obviously they you know to be to be acknowledged at the Grammys or or to, at some big award show for for your your talents or for whatever you did is, is a big, you know, it's, it's nothing to, I mean, it's, it's, a it big, would be nice, uh, you know, big honor. It's, yeah, yeah it, it does. Even what? though we like recognize that it doesn't recognize us in the way we feel it should, it is yeah. still an honor. Holy. <clears throat> well, if, shit. if, if you're going to do it for, I mean, well, I don't know. I was gonna say if if you're gonna do it for one, then you you know you should probably do it for for all of them. Well, you hold know, on though, hold on. Uh, I'm I got I got something here. I got something here. Um, one of one. All right. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, da, 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 da. oh fuck. Okay. Um. All right. All right. I fact checked us. Might need to eat my word. Well, okay. Like, okay. What do you want to do here? Like, I got, I have a gigantic list. Gigantic list. Like, really big. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Of, uh, like, I searched 2021 Grammys in memoriam on Google. Okay. And, In the physical, okay, I don't know if it's in the video that they showed that night because I don't think there's any fucking way it's possible. There's just too many names on this list. There's no fucking way they had all these in the in memoriam. But at the same time, this year was a fucking virtual Grammys anyway. So why the fuck wouldn't you? Fuck it. But at least in the list that I'm looking at right now, Alexi Leho is there. So my question to you, do we want to fact check ourselves right now and like actually watch the in memoriam to see what was included on the televised event? Because sure. it, you want to? Sure. Yeah, All right. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's fucking because fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. It's, it's, well, I don't know. <clears throat> Even though I, I don't watch it. I, I definitely did pay attention because there are certain YouTubers that I watched that that did like recaps and stuff from it, and you know it sounded like it was at least entertaining. But you know, sure, why well, not? The, the the fucking Bill Burr stuff was entertaining. Yeah, well, I didn't. But I didn't, even, I didn't even know he was cool. hosting. Uh, well, maybe. But, see, goddamn it, I could be wrong. I think I said this last time on the DSI thing. Uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if what I was watching was him hosting the Grammys or the uh, the Oz. No, it had to have been the Grammys because he said yeah. because he was Ricky, like Ricky Gervais did the Oscar. Um, or the, oh, yeah. did he? I think so. Yeah. Oh one wow, of the, one of those that'd be cool. Shows. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But but he came out and was like, uh, uh, you know, uh, he was like, uh, uh, it's real great hosting hosting this year. The first year I can't meet any of the fucking rock stars I wanted to meet. Don Dock and I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. He's like, I'm old. That's one of the bands I wanted to meet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but all right, hold on. Really people wanted to cancel him after that. Yeah, no, and in for in the joke that they wanted to cancel him for, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> roll a pair of balls, people. Figure, Come the yeah. fuck on, like yeah. Jesus Christ. We're, He's he, trying he, to cancel Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty one. So you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, for real. Uncancelable. <laughs> same as yeah. Bill Burr. Same as fucking Joey Coco Diaz. Like you, you, you look. You need to fucking educate yourself on these people <laughs> before you fucking try to cancel them. Educate yeah. yourself. That's all I'm saying. All right? Educate you, yourself. Eminem, Eminem will cancel you yeah! like 20 times over before you... <laughs> he <laughs> will end your it. career before you <laughs> yeah. know what day it is. Come on, man. Like, that's, that shit's that's why, insane. 
That's why MGK is doing what he's doing right now, but that's a different story. Okay, <laughs> right, let's continue. Right, let's keep going. Oh, we can go without a list. Of- <laughs> oh, yeah, there's yeah, that's not the first one either. See, Hard we no. we Hard dude, no. and that's that's the thing. Like, you know, I mean, it's I don't know, I guess not to get too far off what we were talking about because we were gonna get into something kind of serious, but but like, you know. I mean, come on. Like, you remember the, the MTV awards with all the crazy shit that Eminem used to do? Oh, like, the dog, the, the, the yeah. dog thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The insult shit, like, insult like, comic, yeah. Yeah, just how, like, you know, or, or, like, really just the, the time where, like, pretty much MT or, like, Eminem ran MTV, basically. Yeah. Like, he was on TRL Early quite a few times. Yeah. And, yeah, like, there's, yep. you know, well, so. First time I ever saw the video for, uh, um, Oh my god! I can't believe I'm blanking on the name right. Now. Uh, two trailer park girls go round me outside, round me outside, oh. round me outside. That, that that the first time I ever saw that fucking without video. Without me or whatever. With that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yes, no, it's not without me. It's another one. Fuck. Anyway, um. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it was on. Uh. 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 Actually, maybe. I don't know if it was on MTV. It might have been on like a, one of them. MTV or VH1 had like a morning, uh, an early morning like uh, show where they would just show a bunch oh, of music yeah. videos. It was probably more VH1. Jumpstart. Morning, but I, I think, think it was both... called Jumpstart yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was like literally woke up one morning, getting ready for middle school. I saw that video for the first time. Like it was fucking... My my parents were there. Like it was fucking crazy, but I was instantly like hooked. Yeah. But all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me yeah, see. Here. What were we talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cancel culture. I don't know. <laughs> For some right? reason, <laughs> we're going off. Uh. Hey, fuck it. I'm trying to figure out if what I'm watching right now. Can you hear it? I can't. Okay, good. Because uh, <laughs> it sucks. Well, no, I just didn't want to fucking get copyrighted. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't... Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is the official shit or not. But what I can say is... They're not mentioning very many fucking people that I don't know. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, let me dig a little bit deeper oh, here. Before before we completely shit on the Grammys, uh, <laughs> there is there is a there is a Michigan artist who um, who I've been getting into a lot more recently. He's a he's a folk bluegrass artist uh, who won for I think it was like best best folk album or best like I don't know his name's Billy Strings. Ricky Healy. Yeah, man. Dude's awesome. Like one a Grammy stuff once we're done. Yeah, man. Yeah, let me see what's let me see what it's for because I don't remember. Yeah, it's he's from I'm not sure where he's from in Michigan, but he's yeah, and it's straight up like some of the and he he and I was because the album that he won for, I think it's called Home, uh, is very like it's really, really good. Like I was I was listening to it the other night. Um there's quite a few so like there's there's a couple of songs on it that like kind of stuck with me and stuff. But yeah, just being being from this area and kind of just hearing it and stuff is like, yeah, I'm, I was really, I was really excited to hear that he won. I've been getting into him the last little while. So yeah, Billy Strings, man. I was, I was excited to hear that. You know what? I'm going to write one. that down. I'm going to check that out. Um, and that actually leads me cause all right, look, uh, honestly, um, I can't, uh, yeah, I, I'm 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 not really finding this on YouTube. I'm not really finding the fucking in memoriam thing. So we can just say fuck it and move on. Uh oh shit, yo, what? What? I didn't know he was straight up. So it says Billy Strings was born William Apostle on October third, nineteen ninety two, in Lansing, Michigan. What He's the fuck? Younger than me? Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I'm going to check this guy out. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm not really finding that. I, I, it would have been cool to watch that, but it, it, yeah. 
it does lead kind of what you just said actually kind of leads me to the next thing I wanted to talk about. Um, and that, I don't know, whatever, go on. (laughs) (laughs) No, you're good. Um, I'll fact check myself here. Uh, 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 shit. God damn it. I forgot the bridge. You're talking about, I had a bridge uh, and now I forgot it. Talking about Grammys, talking about artists from Michigan, talking about recognition. Oh, no, no, no. That was the bridge. Uh, I was going to say now on this podcast, we can, uh, we can, uh, uh, like, uh, we can play stuff. We can play stuff now on this podcast because, uh, big announcement, everybody. I officially got off my fucking lazy ass and, um, got the uh the pod bean host we now have a host uh website coming soon but many of our episodes are officially back on google podcast and apple itunes podcasts uh and soon on uh uh we're gonna get a, get a bunch on spotify soon uh once uh, there's a little weird technical hiccup that i gotta figure out with that but that's coming soon um and uh hopefully a website as well so big announcement there. Uh, we do have all of that coming very, very soon. And it's uh, uh, for anybody seeing this, many of the episodes, including this one, are already on Google Podcasts and Apple iTunes Podcasts. So check us out on all those people, please. That'd be awesome. Um, to have a one-stop shop for all your... Yeah. Lost in the, all all, all your lost needs. <laughs> <laughs> or dark, dark needs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I saw the fucking, I saw his name on the list there, but I, 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 it's full disclosure. Yeah. Neither of us even fucking watched the Grammys and I'm I'm pretty sure what I did watch was nothing but like a few clips of like Bill Burr's jokes and stuff like that. Um, that were funny. Uh, but, uh, I don't see Cardi B. Tell you what. <laughs> I don't I, didn't see I that. heard about I that know. before I saw that shit. <laughs> and I'm not even what? into that. Like I don't even <laughs> What'd you hear about? Why did... just that just that her performance kind of shocked a lot of or pissed a lot of people off. Why? Like, how sexual it was and stuff. Shut the fuck up, people. Her Come and, on. Her and whoever it was, I don't know, for that WAP song. <laughs> Who fuck it? God. No. I wish I had no. uh, I wish Y'all I had my fucking, fucking cannibal corpse shirt on right now. <laughs> like, like, come you're on. Ten ply, bud. You ten ply. Yeah, yeah. Soft. Like, like, come the <laughs> calm the fuck down. Like, yeah. like you. Anybody that gets pissed about shit like that, I'm like, have you heard Cannibal Corpse's newest song? <laughs> yeah. Perfect Ooh. segue. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Brand new song I, came out I, less than I'd 48 hours ago. Dude. Dude, <laughs> we haven't talked about this yet. Can we what was play it called? This? What was it can called? We it? Well, technically, we actually can't, but we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. But what's it called again? Murderous <laughs> Rampage or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Fuck me, Aaron. Like, what <laughs> the fuck? That dude, this... shit was hard. That yeah, shit man. was the mad notes, dude. <laughs> what? Everything, what? everything they put out for this record has been has like exceeded my expectations of it. So I'm, I can't wait for this album. <laughs> I got pre ordered this shit. Oh, oh, I pre ordered. I haven't yet, but yeah. God, get on that. <laughs> get the fuck on that, dude. I've pre ordered a few things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Uh, but dude, these based on these two tracks alone, when I heard the new one earlier. I was like, holy shit. This might end up being my favorite Cannibal Corpse album. Like, like, like the, out of the ones I've heard already, if the rest of yeah. the album sounds like this, it's, this might be one in competition with the, uh, the ones that just have, you know, sentimental value to me and things like that. Uh, yeah. Like, wow, dude. Like, Cannibal. Cannibal Age is like a fine wine, man. Like, They're like, getting better. I don't, I don't understand <laughs> how you could be almost thirty-five years into your career 
of playing death metal and are still able to straight forward death metal like not yeah. even never Sl- slayer had a sidestep kiss yeah. had a sidestep everybody had a sidestep metallica yeah. had a few um <laughs> cannibal has never had yeah. a sidestep or changed anything they've just been always what they are and this far into their career Fucking i feel awesome. like they might be peaking or yeah. you know or you know it's, it's, it's kind of the same with dahlia it's kind of I was the about same to say that. with dahlia yeah. it's kind of the same with lamb of god it's kind of the same with in my opinion with bodum um yeah. like jesus hate breed like yeah. anyone that just sticks true to their fucking shit just don't waver like yeah, Slayer wavered for a half a second, but let's be real, Slayer's it's a fucking Slayer, it's fucking fucking Slayer. <laughs> yeah, like, how, are gonna, how are you gonna how you gonna hate us? No, 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 you can't. Yeah. There's no, then there, no, that's impossible. That's impossible. <laughs> that's, that's impossible. It's impossible. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the ones that stick true, the ones that stay true, always fucking last and. End up doing you. You might have your specific time period where you like them in for a sentimental reason or a sonic reason, whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, when you really look at it, I, in my opinion, all these bands have gotten better with age. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Yeah. So and it's just like you know, no, no disrespect to their older or their other guitarist who i mean kind of all know what happened who cannibal like yeah oh oh, but, oh yeah that crazy shit yeah but man like no and, disrespect and he, at all he made a lot of my favorite cannibal albums yeah dude yeah seriously I mean, skeletal i love skeletal skeletal yeah. domain is unbelievable yeah. it's unbelievable it's violent like it's that's one of my favorites i go back to quite a bit Absolutely never and ever any disrespect to him. But uh, when you're talking Man. about Rutan, uh, <laughs> well, and it's there's it's no so competition. Cool. Yeah, like there is like the best death metal guitarist ever. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, straight death and, metal. Yeah, I don't. He's on my Mount Rushmore for sure. I think he's my favorite death metal guitarist of all time, Eric Rutan. Yeah. I'm dead serious. Ooh. Ooh. Careful with that hot take. <laughs> it's fair. Fair. I mean, between sure, that, but... between that and the uh hate eternal. Uh yeah. I mean <laughs> Riff fucking city, man. I mean, come on. Like that's yeah. just that's yeah. I mean, yeah, there's, I'm sure there's others. Yeah, I just thought of another one. Yep, okay. All right. Well, okay. He's in the top three. Put it that way. Yeah. Well, he's, I've always spent like any, really anybody in Cannibal. I would, like anytime we're talking about like instrumentalists yeah. and stuff or like people that like it's, you know, they're like, I mean, you know, their drummer is. The fact that dude, like you know, there was there was that one documentary uh, where he was like he had the, I don't know if it was a documentary if it was like a webisode thing that they were doing, but he like he hung upside down from this like back stretcher thing because he like threw his back out during one of the takes, and he went back and still finished off the tracks. Like, it was for torture. Fuck, like, I re- I remember that, but I don't remember what it's from. Yeah, I think it might have been. Torture. It might have been well, yeah, but it might have been like a like a like a making of DVD that came with the CD or something. Yeah, yeah. something like that. I feel like that's yeah, yeah. You know what? And I like I always respect his his like playing and his you know like what he's done ultimately for just death metal drumming in general. Like speaking from a from a musician standpoint, because like I mean you he know his, his his philosophy on like. You know, he's like, I don't, I don't use triggers. I don't use electronics. I don't use computers. He's, he's like, I'm just straight up. Draw. Like what's on stage is what you're hearing and stuff. And that is, that's badass to me. Like yeah. I, yeah. And any, anytime I see him live, anytime I've ever seen Cannibal live, it is 
like, I mean, you know, and, and like, you know, you're, it's no secret that, that cannibal mm. songs are hard as fuck to play, but as far as like keeping, keeping that same, I mean, they, you know, and especially cause cannibal are, they're one of those bands that they play like 20, you know, 18 to 20 songs a night. Yeah. And, they have a long, and, hear, and there's yeah. no talking. There's no banter. Yeah. It's just yeah. relentless fucking chaos. Yeah. And so to hear, you know, especially from, you know, just, just from like playing and just having that kind con- like, you know, the, the intensity and everything else, like just to see him just tear it apart every single time. It's, it's spot on every time I've seen him too. Every like time. it really, yeah, really any, you know, Alex, anybody from Alex Webster to, to their, you know, I'm, I'm bad with names as far as like guitar players and stuff, but you know, well, but, uh, like, no, just- uh, no, Alex, uh, yeah, Alex is the, uh, 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 uh bassist. Yeah. And, and to me, he it's him and Steve Harris. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, there's no, yeah, there's no contest. <laughs> None. Like, yeah. You're like the Eddie Van Halen of fucking bass. Like, it's fucking yeah. insane to me. I, uh, I was, I was really like watching his instructional stuff or his like clinic type stuff because it's, he just has a really unique way of, of writing and of playing. And I know, love that. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot. <clears throat> yeah. There's a lot of like jazzy stuff. You should yep. check out, uh, I don't know if you checked out Blotted Science before. I have um, not. But it's 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 the it's him and um I want to say the drummer from uh not, not Carcass um fuck let me look this up real quick. Go for it. Carcass is fucking great though. Fucking love Carcass. Yeah. Um. Oh, Crypt- Cryptopsy. Cryptopsy. Oh, oh, well, huge shout out to Cryptopsy and fucking uh, the Vox and Hops podcast. I believe the lead singer of Cryptopsy is the host of that show. Am I wrong? Fact check me on that. I think I'm right about that, though. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right about that. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was actually on a fucking Thirsty Thursday episode with them with keith from the convalescence he invited me and um everybody please check that this is a great podcast wonderful podcast enjoy the fox and hops thirsty thursday gang group on youtube go on oh yeah um so i misspoke a little bit (laughs) but they are they are within the same ethos of what we're talking about um because they're their drummer uh hans grossman who's one of my favorites uh, he played with Hate Eternal. Uh, oh. He was also the drummer of ne- Necrophagist on the Epitaph era, and he played with a band called Obscura, which is who, I've uh, heard of them. Insane, like they're a tech death band. That's really yeah, funny. yep. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's um him, Alex Webster, and Ron Jarsbeck, who played for Terrestrial, uh, Watchtower, a couple other bands. Oh yeah. Um not really sure. Marty Friedman. Heard of Watchtower. Marty Friedman's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Former members. Oh shit. I mean they've had quite a few drummers. Chris uh, Chris Adler played for Blood Science, I guess. What? Which is crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, as as well as Derek Roddy, who is from Fate Eternal as well. Um Dan, as I mean, as far as like death metal drummers, man, like He's play, you know, Hate Eternal, Malevolent Creation, Nile. Today's the day. Derek Roddy is like his, and the way that is, you know, speaking speaking from a drumming standpoint, like just the like his every single hit has so much intensity to it. Like watching him play is so like it just intense. I, like there's no other word for it. Like dude just lays into his his blast beats, his you know his speed, everything else. Like dude, yeah, Derek Roddy is insane. Um, Fuck yeah. And also, like coming coming from the Hate Eternal camp, uh, I think I think he played on I Monarch, um, which is just one of the fastest, ugliest death metal records I've ever heard. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> oh yeah. Nasty. Like, <laughs> yeah. Don't be near me. Like, yeah. Just fast your, as fuck. Rift like, City. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't even know I don't how know. we got on this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but Talk about one... cannibal course, cannibal new new Everybody, cannibal. Yeah, stuff. no, no, yeah, that new can. Oh, it's so good, dude. 
I yeah, we already talked about it, but it's so fucking good. I love it so much. I cannot fucking wait for that album, dude. Like, I almost feel like it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny because like we do our uh, uh, album of the year filthy fifteen list every year, and uh, every year long before we make the list, I almost always feel like uh this is going to be the one we agree on is the top spot. And I already <laughs> kind of feel like it's going to be cannibal this year. Uh, and now who knows, who knows, because there is a lot of bands that we love are, yeah. are working on shit and supposedly releasing things this year. Um, also been a lot of really but, good stuff that's come out recently too. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, yeah, like, yeah I was checking out, I was actually checking out some shit that you suggested to me uh, last night. Um, that fucking Architects with Winston. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I haven't listened to that record too much, but that's, yeah, it's got... That new Architects with the, with, with yeah. the lead singer of Parkway Drive, that track is the one I checked out. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I thought the track was very good, but, like, my favorite part was Winston's. Like, that fucking breakdown, dude, was destructive like straight out of straight out of horizons man oh like, yeah man, like oh, ha he hasn't yeah. sounded like that since their earlier shit man. he sounded like, i was yeah hateful like he sound he sounded like to to me it was like in terms of that it was kind of like when uh randy did enslaved dead and deprave on just a one you know yeah, what i mean i was like he hasn't sounded that angry in fucking a while like yeah like it, it, yeah so no i i loved i loved that that was sick as fuck i was afraid to die well that my troll i loved oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude That's it's sick. so good it's so good um but real quick i do i do need to get to one giant actually fuck i don't even know how long we've been going we should have probably done this sooner um <laughs> I have two gigantic things to get to real quick. Uh, first of all, um, we got, uh, uh, for, for the first time ever, we had another podcast shout us out just earlier this yeah. week. Or by the time you guys are seeing this last week, early last week, Dipping Milk and Cookies podcast. Um is one of my favorite podcasts, hands down. I listen to every single new episode. Uh, That's really cool. Yeah, I've heard quite a few. Hosted by Cookie Commander Garrett Smith and Master <laughs> Milker Mike Sokovia. I think that's how you say your name. Love it. Not sure. Yeah. Um, but absolutely fucking amazing, wonderful podcast. They have awesome segments. It's a quick, every time it's a quick, like 45 minutes to an hour in and out. Um, yeah. I, 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 like the second every single one drop, I, cause I usually listen to podcasts like at work or whatever, you know, when I'm doing something, you know what I mean? So as soon as I'm doing something and I see there's a new episode of Dipping Milk and Cookies, I'm, that's all that first one. Let's go. Uh, I fucking love that podcast so much. I love, Everything I love the uh, 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 Ma uh, Master Milker's mysterious mysteries segment. I love the six pack <laughs> segment. Um, yeah. And they and they gave us such a fucking beautiful shout out uh, on that on was, their yeah. uh, episode from last week. Um, that uh, you know, first time that's happened since we've done this, man. Like and to I, to I, see that and to like you know, there's it's it's one of those things that. I mean, there, there's been a few things that are like, you know, there's, there's comments that, that come through every so often. Like there's people that like posts and stuff and, uh, you know, that's, that's all cool. But like, you know, when just having that, that, you know, that shout out or that, like, you know, just that recognition or that, you know, from, from somebody that not only has been on the podcast, but yeah. just a cool, just a cool fucking dude. Like, yeah, Garrett, Garrett Cookie Commander Smith is uh, the guitarist for the band Reflection of Flesh, who has yeah. been on the show. Uh, go back man. and check out that episode. They too just sick, had man. too sick. They just Boy. had an amazing new EP come out called Paris. Son of a fucking bitch. 
Son of a fucking bitch. I I literally got the hard, I, I got the hard copy today oh. and it's not next to me. It's up in my it's up in my room because I want to take Damn. a cool picture of it for for the for the social media. Okay. Uh fair enough. So it's not next to me. I'm so mad at myself right now. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself right now. But I uh, uh yeah, dude, like they're so fucking incredible. New EP Parasitic came out. I think yeah, it's Valentine's Day, February 14th. Came out February 14th on Valentine's Day. And it's hard. hard as hard. Fuck. <laughs> mad notes. The yeah. fucking mad notes. Like it's so awesome. So thrashy. So like raw and old school sounding. I love it so much. Like so, yeah, man. Like they they uh they gave us a huge shout out. Not only that, I've gone back and forth with Garrett in a couple emails. Uh, they, they didn't just give us a shout out. They actually kept talking about us like throughout the episode. It was kind of, it was, I, 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 I was so like, I was driving around in my car yesterday, like running errands and stuff and listening to it in my car. And so to hear him talk about us, well, you know what I mean? Like that, like I was like, ah! <laughs> I was freaking out, dude. I was freaking out, dude. And that's yeah. yeah, that's the other thing. I'm in a fucking basement right now. Like I I have no idea who or if anyone ever hears this shit because like, you know, uh we don't really, like people don't haven't really reached out to us much, but you know, apparently, you know, we <laughs> Some people have made a few things for us. We've made a few waves and Garrett and I went back and forth with some emails. He gave me a really good idea on something that's, that I am going to start doing. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, like I just, I just wanted to give them uh, a fucking gigantic shout out because uh, uh, if, if, if you guys are hearing this right now, uh, seriously, like uh, okay, yeah. come back on the show. Man. But not well. They got it. Like, they're they're uh, <laughs> they 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 actually listen to the fucking episode. They actually fucking talk about like having us on or being on our show or whatever. But they got to uh, they don't uh, have the fucking video aspect figured out yet. Uh, so they just got you know they got a little technical thing to work out real quick. But I know they'll work it out soon. And I t I, I actually <laughs> sent them an e email earlier today where I was like. Second, you get that done, man. We're about to make a fucking great episode, dude. Like it's gonna be fucking awesome. So, yeah. so that, was, that, yeah. Like I, I look <laughs> back on that on the episode that we did, um, and it was like because I remember it being one of the first ones that that I that I had done with with multiple like a full band or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And watching back on it, it's it is a little rough, but you know, like. I feel like, like, you know, I mean, we, you know, as far as like having, having guests back on and stuff, like we always talk about how the second one's always better and stuff. It's, it's kind of the same because, because interpreter was the other one that, uh, the, we posted that recently, uh, within the last week, I think, or yep. within the last few days. Yep. Um, <clears throat> it's yeah, that, and that one that even, you know, it's so like, it's, it's having done episodes prior to that and kind of being in that situation that made me feel a little bit more comfortable as far as the interpreter uh, episode goes. But yeah, like I, yeah. I'm excited to have reflections back on, uh, I think, cause I think they're sick. I think I really don't think that they get, you know, at same love that they should, man. Like, I agree. You I know, agree. It's, it's the same with every something. band that's been on here, but yeah, they are, they're, they're doing, doing something extra special. They a, yeah. They have a sound right now that I think, needs to be heard the the metal war community uh needs bands like them and uh yeah yeah, yeah. and not and even outside of that like um uh like uh uh dipping milk and cookies like that just that yeah. like i would i because because i don't know how many episodes you've heard um but his garrett's co-host master milk and mike um he he's the, he has like his own segment master milkers mysterious mysteries where they where they dive into you know anything paranormal ufos dog man like, <laughs> like cryptids uh, like you know all the stuff that you know i love to talk about so like yeah. the idea of having you know e even them on the show um or 
or us being on their show. Oh my God. So like even for just a segment or something would be an honor. Uh, yeah. like, yeah, like that. Yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, those guys are fucking awesome. And so there will be links, uh, in the description below for everything, dipping milk and cookies, reflection of flesh, and actually probably a lot more. Um, but everybody yeah. be sure to check them out because it really, <clears throat> it's really, it's one of my favorite fucking podcasts going right now. And I, I just, I, I absolutely love everything. I absolutely love yeah. everything that, uh, 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 that, that Garrett Smith does. And, uh, it's yeah. Everybody check that out. Yeah. I've been, I was, I, I'm pretty caught up with it. I've, I've been watching the last couple of it, man. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, isn't it great? Entertaining. It's yeah. I love their yeah, chemistry. Dude. I just love yeah. their chemistry. It's really awesome. And they've had a lot of really great guests on. Um yeah. but uh but yeah, uh uh yeah, I guess well, that's that's kind of another thing that we were talking about there. It, we kind of like did it a little bit in the beginning here when we were like, you know, trying the beers and stuff. But we've been doing the hot sauce videos, um, and uh, we are going to continue them, but they're not just going to be hot sauce videos. They're going to be, it's going to be uh, other, other stuff. Pretty much anything a band makes, whether it be hot sauce, whether it be uh, alcohol of some kind, whether it be um, uh, uh, coffee, you know, whatever, what, edible product or something like that, that the bands make, we're going to start trying them and, uh, and making videos about them. And, uh, all that, I do have to give another massive shout out right now because all of that is pretty much, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to look pretty much all of that for me is credited to a fan that we have on YouTube. Ghoul drool. This is for you. Uh, you're the fucking best. Uh, Thanks for the idea for the torture. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's, Aaron might be a little mad at you. Not really. Not really. But, no, uh, man, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's dude, great. Like, she fucking, like, 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 that her first comment on our first hot sauce video made me be like, all right, let's keep going. And then yeah. early, literally earlier today, again, you guys have seen this a week later, but earlier today, uh, she comment or maybe it was last night. I don't know, but she commented uh on a website I'd never heard of. Like, uh, fuck, I don't remember the name of it. Like, spirit spirits of rock or rock and spirits or something like that. Where it's just like a one website where you can go to and get uh most of like the metal or rock bands, beer, whiskey, vodka, wine, whatever, like all that stuff. And so, uh, and we already even talked about like wanting to try the number nine whiskey from Slipknot. Um, they 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 got a they got a Lemmy Motorhead whiskey. Uh, you know, there's there's all kinds of shit like that that we're gonna try. We don't know what the name of the playlist is gonna be called yet. <laughs> we were workshopping names earlier. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, we do. I got. Uh, I had a couple. I didn't post to you, but I want to go past it. <laughs> Bring them, brother, because you fucking you fucking named the Crypt Crew for Christ's sake. Uh, but uh, but yeah, dude. Uh, so we're with that. That I just, I just, I just wanted to give a giant shout out to Ghoul Drool. You are, you are, you are the real motherfucking Crypt the Crew. Real. The <laughs> real motherfucking Crypt Crew. All right. And this one's for you. So uh, in all the fucking videos like that, we post in the future because of you. So um, that's what's up. And uh, we just wanted to give a massive shout out for that. Uh, and uh, and, 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 I kinda, and that was kind of like a segue into like, like uh, you know, uh, uh, we're three years in, man. We're three years in, brother. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that is, uh, you know. Uh, we're always trying to come up with fun, weird little extra videos to do, and 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 uh, that's one we're gonna we're gonna dive into a little bit this year, I think. Uh, just like trying like metal bands products, like right, you know what I mean? Like it sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been kind of cool, you know, throwing ideas and stuff back and forth uh, as far yeah. as different yeah. segments and and stuff. 
Um, yeah, we I still think, don't really have segments. Yeah, we're, we're getting there though. Like I feel like because the I mean the hot sauce stuff is definitely one that's just it's it's easy to do and and it's it's pretty fun. You know what yeah. thing I don't I mean like because there hasn't there hasn't been one that's been super bad yet. But I I like you know you don't you don't hang out and and try to find stupid hot hot sauces without getting getting like the worst of the worst right. <laughs> at a certain point so at some point we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna pay him for this decision but right either way man like yeah you know it's it's cool that you know i i hope to you know and going forward with things i hope to you know keep it keep it kind of the same as far as you know the doing the band stuff but also do you know adding just that extra little niche that extra little you know splash of of whatever it is like that you know i i kind of i kind of like you know the idea of seeing you know as far as like where this grows to and and you know i just with with all the smaller little steps and stuff is it's taking us to it's pretty crazy places recently so it's yeah it's cool to see where it's grown to and and where it could be going so yeah man yeah and that's actually one thing uh uh because this look we're three years in and uh we never get here without anyone that's watching right now. And we also never get here without uh, all the people that... God, it, it really fucking blows my mind, man. Um, all the people that have supported us in any way, shape, or form. Um, and here, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do something right now. Uh, uh, I'm going to screen share. Oh... Boom shakalaka. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to screen share something right now uh, that. All right. Well, I'll, 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 talk, I'll just show it. I'll just, I'll, I'll talk about it after. For the record, I don't even know what this is. Yes, so. you do. I sent it do to I? you. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do know what this is. <laughs> Check this out, everybody. Yeah. Oh, I can't hear it. That was fucking Gary Holt from Exodus and Slayer telling everybody to check out Lost in the Dark podcast. I'll I'll, I'll go back in and make sure. I think the audio will be there. Um, yeah, but I couldn't I couldn't hear any of that. But I knew what was going on. So, yeah, yeah, so. I know, I know you did because I, <laughs> I. And yeah. and that is it. That is full credit to our fucking brothers and victims and of the system. Aaron from Victims of the hard. System made that happen for us, and I I, I, I like. Aaron, I was at work and I started screaming. Like, I, ah! <laughs> yeah. I started yeah. screaming. There were goosebumps was awesome. around my entire body. I didn't know what to do with myself. Like, so yeah. Like, that like, was a trip for sure. <laughs> we're three years in, and this episode is going to be nothing but gratitude because that's all, like, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Like, it, because, like, we would not, I don't know, maybe we would still be going three years if nobody was listening, but but the fact oh. that, we, like, are, and yeah. these people are, in, and the people are willing to do stuff for us like that, like, yeah, give a shout out to their podcasts and do intros for us, and. Yeah. No, it's awesome, dude. Like, I, <clears throat> a lot of times I tend to kind of catch myself, you know, just kind of getting taken back by you know just just some of the cool shit that just even within the last year since we've been going you know because really really we kind of i mean we, we talk about it quite a bit as far as you know how much how much being back out you know doing the video thing and doing this whole zoom thing really kind of you know skyrocketed us to where we're at and stuff and um so yeah it's been it's been cool to to see the little bit more of the response and and it's like any you know, I, I mean, fuck, like, you know, I guess, I guess I really just want to take the time to just say thank you to, to, you know, to any of the bands that have been on over the last, you know, I mean, like convalescence, 
free corruptor, Keith casket Com- robbery, yeah. Keith convalescence, Keith 100%, convalescence, re corruptor, bog wraith, casket robbery, tyrant, interpreter, bravura. Uh, uh, fuck, I know I should have written down. Uh, uh, reflection of flesh. Uh, 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 you said tyrant, tyrant, you know, yeah, remember? We had them tyrant. on. Yeah. yeah, I said tyrant. Yeah, <laughs> we had them on December. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, kill the imposter, Johnny Nobody. Um, fucking uh, uh suffocating lie. Uh, suff- oh my god, my for brother, being, for yo. being yo, come back on the show. My suffocating lie. Let's do this. shit. We gotta talk you, about yo. the record. We gotta I talk was, about I, I, I listened to it top to bottom <laughs> earlier today. Early, cannot start that record without finishing it, motherfuckers. You're about to. I'm about to be a punisher for these motherfuckers to get back on the show. I want to talk to them so fucking bad. I cannot fucking wait. I miss them. I literally miss them. Um, <laughs> and I've never even Great. met them in person. So like, yeah, like, no, if you motherfuckers are seeing this, I'm about to be a punisher to you guys next <laughs> week. I'm sorry, but <laughs> punishment's about to happen because you but, guys need to get the fuck back on here. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, regardless, like you know, I'm I'm sure we're forgetting about somebody. Like, don't feel bad. We're we're terrible about this, but war. Just no, just war. Fucking yeah, dude. For for being for being like insanely understanding about the legend like, coming back on the show, and yeah, man. Like, just I don't know, just. Overall, just you know, thank you for for taking your time to to be on this with us, and you know, whenever it was, and to share your stories with us, and to to give us you know some of your time and stuff, because that you know, like you know, like we I, we tell the story quite a bit about you know how I was kind of like tricked into doing this and stuff, which is which is partly true, but it's also man, like I I gotta be honest as far as you know, as far as my side of things, you know, like I. You know, growing up, I especially like you know being being in the in the local scene and stuff. Like I always, I always kind of wanted to give back more to to artists that didn't really have that platform and didn't really have that that ability to to you know put their put their sound somewhere and really kind of have it like matter really. Um, and you know, in in doing this podcast and doing these big interviews and stuff, like sometimes sometimes it's it's a bit like overwhelming. I got to be honest because. You know, like I want, I want so badly for, for nothing more than, you know, each episode that we do with, with a band or with an art or whoever it is, you know, to, to be, to be, you know, to give them the spotlight and to give them the love and, and to, you know, to really, you know, to, to be able to promote and to do all that stuff. And so, but I never really, you know, like I've I always wanted to do that and stuff, but you know, I, like mm-hmm. the only way that I knew how to do it was, was through playing shows and through, you know, like, you know, like playing through, you know, with different bands and, and getting to know different people throughout the, you know, and just in my local scene and stuff. And dude, it has been, it has been so cool over the last, like really, well, really the last like, year and a half, I feel like this has taken off, but you know, nonetheless, like the three years that we've been really going and stuff, like just the the stories and just the, the, you know, just the knowledge of it and just the advice and just, you know, like just the, the little things and just like, you know, I feel like it's, it's not something that I talk about a lot, but it's, it, it's, you know, it's the most truth is as far as, you know, doing this is like, I always, I always try to take a little, a little piece of, of something from each episode that we do, whether it's, you know, whether it's a solo episode or whether it's with a band or something else, because I feel like, you know, what, what other chance are we going to get to, to hear these stories and to, to share this kind of experience and to share, you know, what, what these, you know, what, I mean, you know, I mean, one, one that comes to mind, you know, not necessarily over the others, but one that comes to mind for me that we've done, um, that really kind of made me recognize like there's there's a lot of movement in in the underground and there's a lot of stuff that you could do and they have been they have been killing it lately as far as like the the doing the tours and trying to get their stuff together um i want to talk about scream at the sky um brian carter man like that dude road dog for sure like just hearing and that was you know and between him and keith for sure like like those those two are and I would even include Johnny in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's there's certain there's certain people that we've had on 
in this time that just man like that that inspire me that make me feel like you know get the fuck off your ass and <laughs> and move in order to like you know do something or be a part of this you know take the time to to really care about what you're doing and stuff and so to have to have those kind of people on just to have those experiences and be able to share their stories with everybody is just it's been like and from the I don't know man it's I I love it I it's I, it, it's it it it, it, it awesome. uh uh, it, it trips me out. Um, uh, fuck man. Like it, uh, it's trying to be as honest as I can right now. And that it, 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 it really trips me out, you know, uh, that anybody would, would, would the idea that anybody even found us, especially before we were even on video. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 then and then want it liked us enough to want to reach out and be on like one of the first ones, one of the ones, one of the ones that honestly gives me some of my most inspiration, and one of the ones that the fucking second. And for the record, people, we just don't know how to do this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the, the the second we figure out how to get merch. Uh, there are, there is a list of people we are sending shit to for free. And the first one is 100%. Aaron from victims of the system. He, I think he was the first one. He was the first or second one to hit us up just out of nowhere, uh, to be on the show. It was either him or a suffocating lie. I can't remember who was the first. It was one of those. Yeah. Two. Um, but, uh, he has waved our flag and fucking gotten us more views and 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 like been the real motherfucking crypt crew uh for the last year now and uh dude it was it was his birthday yesterday so and oh, again this, yeah, this is coming out a week later so it was a week ago now for you people but it was his birthday <laughs> today today right now actually is his birthday the day we're recording this and so happy birthday brother like you are dude like you, you're you're like like you said Aaron like the fucking crazy stories we get but then on the you know from the from from these people that have been in the business for a very long time and stuff Aaron is on the opposite side of that where he's uh he's he's new and and up and coming and it's it's that it's the fact that come on man we have both of those going on at the same time like yeah. I don't even know what to do with that. Like, it, <laughs> yeah, like it, it, it is, it's trippy. In that, yeah. In that, in that sense. And like, to put it that way, it is, it is pretty crazy, you know, to see like both sides of it, because it really is, you know, like we've, we've talked to people that have, that have played in, you know, in places that we'll never see probably like, and we've then, talked to people and then, that played Ozfest. Yeah, and just things that don't exist anymore, and right, and we may have so, warped yeah, for, it, and and we've also talked about you know the really like <clears throat> like when I think of when I think of like the new wave or like the next thing or whatever, like I I think of it as I mean obviously it's gonna be it's gonna be very DIY, it's gonna be you know very very homegrown kind of a kind of a thing um and and i always i always really enjoyed that that aspect of victims and that aspect of just what they're doing as far as like just just writing stuff and just having it be just as bare bones as possible yeah. and and but just but pushing it out just for the fuck of it you know like there is yep. there is something so punk about that <laughs> like there is something just metal as fuck about well you know just like you know, we're going to put this out and then we're going to be on this split and then we're going to do this. And, but it's all within their little like underground scene and stuff. And it's like, I, I love it's it. So uh, I love, yeah, I love seeing that. And the fact that like, you know, he's been, he's been so, you know, supportive of this and, and has wanted to be on multiple times and, and has been like, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to this person or this dude thinks you guys are sick or this you know like it's just just to have that that kind of aspect or that kind of side of it is 
it's really cool and so yeah so just yeah for sure thank you man like anytime you know like you know we always talk about the revolving door on this show man like it's what it is you know and and we haven't you haven't been on in a while so well he was on he's been on this year he was on this year he was on like (laughs) two two months ago um but seriously in, in in 2021 or yeah Okay. He was he was our oh, yeah, uh, yeah. he was our yeah. first episode I think of twenty twenty one yeah yeah, okay. yeah yeah yep you're right yep so and uh, that so. that that episode was actually even recorded before I even knew about Alexi's death so it was very early yeah twenty twenty one um yeah yeah because so the next uh, and, episode after that is the Alexi tribute episode is the oh yeah that makes sense yep but you know regardless man just you know. Just keep doing it, dude. Like I'm, I'm excited to see what no. they got in the future. Yep. No, no, no. We want nothing more. We want nothing but more victims of the system, or whatever project. You know what? Whatever project you do, you were the real. You are the real motherfucking Crip Crew, Aaron. We fucking love you to death. And I know you're seeing this a week later because that's when it's getting released. But again, and I, I already told you a few times today. Happy fucking birthday. My brother, the real motherfucking Crip Crew, and yeah, I, I can't fucking wait to to you know see you guys live or, or, or and meet you in person or whatever, man. Like fucking, fucking love you to gotta, death, and you're the best. Got to get it off for the day ones, man. The OGs that have been here for since we started this shit. <laughs> I mean, like, like the only, probably the only person that's been on comparable amount of times is my sister so you know what i'm saying like we're not you know what i'm saying like it's uh yeah yeah. uh but yeah no like victims of the system uh obviously legend recording age keith from the convalescence we would not even be close to where we are right now without him like we are not worthy um <laughs> like at yeah. all thanks for like thanks for getting us into some sick fucking music within the last year holy man. shit like, you really holy like, shit you, you want to talk about like tapping into some stuff that hasn't been seen yet or could potentially be the next thing like dude legend recordings dude or i was I, or I was listening dude, I, was, I should be correct about it but Legend recording agency. Legend, you were okay, you were right. Okay. You just had it broken was, up. It was legend was recording agency. Ballpark. But yeah. uh, <laughs> but no, dude. I was listening to a lot of that shit earlier. I don't know. I just had a weird craving, and I just went down some rabbit holes earlier. And I, 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 <laughs> there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. These bands aren't the next wave, dude. Like, I'm not yeah. like I was sitting there listening to them like this is it. hitters, man. Like everything's a hitter, dude. Like everything's a fucking hitter. Like, I don't even know what. Like, yeah. it's so good. Like, it's so good. Like, I, I yeah, everybody. <laughs> All the bands on Legend Recording Agency, especially. All the ones that are on this show. <laughs> not really, not really, not really. But specifically. But, yeah. but we have had a handful. And um man, and 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 we fucking cannot fucking wait to have every single one of them back for sure. Because uh Dude, I wanna yeah. I wanna hear like the, the success story, man. Like I wanna hear this, like, yeah. So last time you were on, you put out this album and now you're like you know, superstars or whatever. You're on this tour with this band that's huge and whatever. Like that's that's what I'm like going forward. That's what I mean, I'm really excited really? to see. Like, yeah. See, so, I'm honest. nervous about that. I'm like, yeah. oh, cause, yeah, because I feel like I, I look. I'm de- I'm super serious right now. Like, I genuinely feel like we are talking to band. Like, from what I'm hearing, as long as they don't break up or or, or something happens or whatever. As long as they do not fucking stop and keep fucking going, there, there's no fucking way they don't break. There's no yeah. fucking way in my mind these bands do not become huge. And I'm yeah. like, 
they're not going to remember us. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But that's also <laughs> like, I also don't even think anybody listens to us, but apparently people do. You know what I mean? Like, so that's also like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, that's, that's my head. That's just my head of like, <laughs> they're going to forget about us. Nobody listens to us. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, you know, that's just, but maybe they won't, maybe they won't. And uh, I don't think they, will. I honest, I really, when I really think about them as individuals, I actually don't think they will. Cause everybody has seemed to have a really good time on the show. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, I do genuinely feel like I developed a real connection with everybody that's been on the show. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, in my heart of hearts, do I really think that? No, but probably not when I really look at it, but uh, you know, on a surface level, that is kind of where my head's at is like, mm-hmm. they're going to fucking blow up and never remember us. <laughs> <laughs> well, time will tell for that, but I, I, definitely... I think they're all going to blow up. I feel like, yeah, and, and, you know, like, to, to, don't, don't sell yourself short, basically, is what I'm getting at, like, the, you know. Well, I'd be selling us short, not just myself. (laughs) Well, I mean, who knows, really, the honest answer to that question, but I will say that, you know, like, as long as, as long as we keep at doing this and stuff and keep having them on. Stop. Yeah, it's just, you know, like, because we've had, you know, even even since we talked to some of these bands, they've already been, you know, like, repeat. Yeah, they've come back. Or, we've had yeah, it. it's, and it's been great every time, you know, every and it's time. just, like, so I I don't really feel like that's. <laughs> May, no, 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 probably... I, 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 it's just, this is what I'm saying, though. Like, this is, like, come on, like, for you with, with ball great. Like, does it not blow your fucking mind that people listen to your music in different countries? I don't really think about it too much, but when I do, yeah, it's it's a trip. Like, the right, fact that somebody across the you know that's not even in the same state that's not you you know is is hearing what we're doing and stuff. Yeah, it's you know it's. <laughs> you guys had a review written about titan i think in a different language right it was, yeah he was in like french or something yeah and I, I wish i could remember what it was but yeah like we've had we've had that we've had to like ship merch out to different places that aren't in the u.s and stuff and doing that's always a task interesting <laughs> yeah because you're never i'm never sure if it's gonna actually make it to them but right 99.999 percent of the time all it's right good. we haven't right. really had any issues but there, you nice. know there's little shit but yeah man like yeah it's 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 yeah. trippy isn't it <laughs> a little bit yeah. that's what i'm saying that's all i'm saying is like it, 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 it really so for anybody that might be watching this right now that like maybe like like is thinking about starting something or has started something or any or anything just just fucking do it just fucking do it if you feel it if you feel it yeah. If you feel it, just fucking do it. And here's the hard part. Don't stop. Just don't stop. Just keep going. Blindly into the dark. Go blind into the dark. Like, just do not fucking stop. Because we're blind. Like, we still don't know what the fuck we're doing. Going half the time. You might, you might even say that you might get lost in the dark on your journey, but do not waver from that darkness because within darkness, you can see the light if you just keep going. You think you're adopted the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in it. <laughs> I don't I know you're gonna go into fucking Bane, man. <laughs> no, every man, time. Man. You're right, though, man. Like you know, that's that's been like a true testament to to what this has been, and to you know where this has grown to. And I'm I'm. I feel like we're only really starting. Like I, oh. for, and it's 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 one of those things that. Like, for as much as I think that I know about it, and for as much as I feel like we've done, like, there's still so much that, like, I mean, I guess it's with everything. 
Like I feel that same way about you know band stuff or with drums and stuff. Like for uh, yep, really, really saying. anything, anything that you learn, you know, yep. or that that is like you know continuous. It's like yep, you know, any like what you think you know about it is only like surface level compared yep. to what it could actually be. And like the cool thing about like podcasting and stuff, and like it's not, you know, I mean we'll go back to it, but you know, like you know what, what I was what I was saying before is like. You know, I didn't, I didn't ever really see myself doing this, <laughs> like, or at least, at least like full time. But, you know, I kind of, I just feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm like, well, you know, it's, it's what it is really is, is a chance to just show love and support for the things I love and to have conversations with people that I love about, you know, just whatever, you know, and like, and the, I guess like the fact that we've been building that this this family this this I don't even feel comfortable calling it the you know fan base or or alumni or what the fuck ever you want to call Crip it crew like, yeah Crip crew you know like the fact that we're we're at this point where it's like you know like really this is kind of only the start and stuff is is very I don't know it's it's exciting to me and it's like I I <clears throat> it's it's weird because. You know, like I, I mean, you know, you know me probably better than, than a lot of other people. And you know that like, you know, when we started this, how closed off to the world I was and how, how like, you know, I was, I was at a point where, you know, I, I wanted to, to do something more. I wanted to do something that was a little, you know, that like gave some love to, to the things that I love and stuff, but I didn't know how to do it. And, and, you know, kind of, kind of being lightly persuaded whatever tricked into whatever you want to call it like you know the fact that like we took this plunge and we you know we've stuck with it so that, i mean i mean like i don't even really know how to measure three years of of doing a podcast but i will say that like since we've been doing this i i have i mean you know they they say they say you change as a person every like six months or every like year or two years or whatever but like you know i i feel like in in doing this and then kind of recognizing what all has happened and and to keep going and to you know to have to have all of these you know to whether whether we hit them up or whether they hit us up and stuff like it's that's just icing on the cake man like that's just the extra stuff like what i yeah. what i what i really really enjoy about this is being able to just like you know, just to have that kind of like pinpoint that kind of, you know, just that, that, that thing that you can like call back to, that's like a specific point in time where you can like call back and remember exactly what you were feeling or what you were thinking at the time and, you know, kind of where you were at and stuff. And you know what, like every, and it's, it's weird too. Cause like, I, I look back at, at episodes that we've done with, with different bands and with different artists or with different people and stuff. And like, you know, sometimes I can kind of like pinpoint back to, specifics of like where i was at when this was happening where you know and that's that to me is crazy like i don't i don't know what to do with that but <laughs> so i don't know like it's it's been awesome and and i'm very excited to see where it goes i guess the moral of this all oh, this big tangent rambling what the fuck ever it is i don't know <laughs> no yeah no, no no it's um that was that was actually wonderful um but uh I, 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 fuck there there was one thing that i was gonna say somewhere in there but i, f I think i forgot it it was like uh i mean like like that's what it was uh yeah no like look uh <clears throat> yeah like well can i can i say something go yes please real, real quick i don't know if you got a thought that you're working on no go ahead but like <clears throat> um fuck <laughs> as i'm saying that i think i just lost it um yeah yeah it's gone i don't know what all right fuck. well well no no what i was <laughs> gonna to say edit that out <laughs> um, we don't Sorry. edit here anymore uh, yeah you're right <laughs> but uh Sorry. The, all right go ahead the uh the 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 beginning of the podcast the beginning of the podcast um uh yes i did <laughs> <laughs> I did 
you know, there was some trickery involved, and it's hilarious. But uh, at the end of the day, though, dude, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, it, it, it wasn't um, by accident. Uh, and I guess what I mean by that is um, it was the conversations we had, man. It was the conversations we had when we would drive, when it would just be you and me in the fucking car driving a three hour round trip down to Detroit or over to Flint or to Grand Rapids for a fucking concert and the fucking conversations we would have in those cars uh, during those drives. Um, and that's what made me go, you're, you're like this, because, because, because maybe part of the perspective you might not know is, um, uh, with everyone, uh, uh, basically since I got a driver's license, um, so for the past 15 years, um, like, that's what we did. That's what that's what me and my friends always did. All we would do is fucking drive. We would go out as far as we could. We literally try to get lost. Literally, try to get lost on back country ass fucking dirt roads as far out as we fucking could, and smoke weed, and 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 fucking have fucking conversations. You know what I'm saying? Like. So, like, that, like, connection, I guess, that, that, like, um, yeah, that connection with someone through conversation, for me, before I even met you, really developed in the car. Just driving around, trying to get lost. Yeah, man. Literally, and then and, and then we met, and then we go back and forth these distances to concerts, and we have these amazing fucking conversations in the car that I wish some of those were fucking recorded. Yeah, because we had some great ones. Yeah, and and I was like, this this is this is this is my guy. This is. <laughs> I the, the not not no no no. Actually, I phrased that wrong. I didn't phrase it wrong. It's true. But what I well, meant hey. to say, what I meant to say was like you, you immediately became like I going into the podcast. Like I always say, it's just me trying to like capture these amazing conversations I have with my best friends. You immediately became on that. It was Preston, Jordan, and you. Like immediately, so like you were always fucking, you know, at the top of the list. Uh, yeah. after after those shows we went to and everything. Yeah, I remember having conversations about that and stuff. And it's you know, yeah. it's, I definitely feel you know feel the same, man. Like you just, and it's it's there there is something about you know because I've had I've had a couple different situations like that whether whether it's shows that we've played or just shows that, you know, like there's, there, there's just a point that you reach with like, you know, coming back from something like that, where you just like the, you're just like venting, you know, yeah. there's just, there's, you're just venting to each other really is what it is. You just, you like, just it, laid it, it all out on the mosh pit. Yeah. So yeah. now you're just letting it all out. Like, yeah. There's like no the, filters. There's no, yeah. It's just a stream flow. Yeah. And, and I've only had that a couple of times in my life, but it's definitely, it's one of those where like, you know, you just like, like, the, I don't know, like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade any of, any of the conversations, anything that we've done. I wouldn't change any of it for, for anything really. Like I, yeah. I would only, I would only really want to do it again because, because I feel like there's just more to talk about. <laughs> right. Really? Um, so yeah, man, like I just, yeah, it's overall, I'm just, I'm very, I, I feel the same. I feel the exact same. Um, and I didn't even really know how to put it into words like you did. Um, but that's, 
Yeah, man. Like that's. I mean that. Yeah, that's just what it was to me, man. And yeah. uh, like I, 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 I fucking. <laughs> and honestly, like I, I, yeah, I feel like a, a crazy fucking scientist. Uh, that like, <laughs> like I somehow got you and Preston to like go down this path with me that just, I, I, I don't even, I don't even well, know how I, saw, I did that. I saw, I saw the honesty in it, you know, I saw the truth in, in what, what it was that you wanted to do. And also like, you know, just the fact that we had, we kind of threw around the, you know, the idea of, of, you know, let's, let's try to, you know, cause, cause I remember like there was, there was a certain point where you were working at the, the head shop or whatever. And, and, you know, there, there's it's like, there, there are a couple of episodes that are at the shop and stuff. Mm-hmm. I guess like there, you know, as far as, as far as like where it all kind of, you know, where, where the initial idea came from, um, like that's something I remember about it a little bit, but like, it's, you know, as far as that stuff, it's like, you know, I, it, it kind of goes beyond that, you know, like it's like, that was, that was kind of just the setup for it. And that was just, it yeah. was like, it was almost like just having conversations like, you know, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool to, to, you know, do a podcast? Wouldn't it be fun to, you know, like, or, or what, what do you think about doing this or kind of thing? like, and, and like admittedly, like, and I kind of remember like that, that night when I came by, you know, to, to do that, the, like the first episode or whatever it was, uh, the first handful and stuff, it was like, you know, I just, I don't really remember, um, like, like specifically what the episodes were about, but I just remember feeling like, like there, you know, if, if we, you know, there is something there, I feel like, like there's something, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's cool to, to be able to kind of go back and forth about like, you know, just and and, and for, from what I remember, like a lot of the earlier episodes were were very much about like, you know, how we got into metal, how we got into to, you know heavy stuff. Like, what was the what was the gateway? What was the crossover? What was the what was the, the stuff that we were? Yeah, what was the shit that we were that we were too <laughs> too cool to to get into at the time? But you know, now we're like we're all about and stuff. Like, you know, just like. You know, it's just, it's little things like that. And I feel like, you know, ever since those episodes and stuff, like it really kind of, really kind of paved the way for, for, you know, like where we take it and stuff. And now, like, you know, now, I mean, f- fuck, like a couple months ago, we did like a SNL type sketch type, like type, like segments and stuff. Like, you know, like, I don't, I don't know what that is, but it's a whole new dynamic to like, you know, it's just like the more, the more stuff we do, I feel like, I feel like the easier it is to be like, Hey, like I got this thing that I want to do. And it's like, okay, let's, yeah, let's no, try that, it. what happens? Like, that's that, awesome. Let's, <laughs> that, that is definitely a way that I, that I pitched it to you guys. It's just like, yeah, we, if we, yeah. if we start a podcast, we can do anything we want on it. We can yeah. do sketches. We can do music. We can do hot sauce videos. We can fucking do reviews, yeah. reflections, whatever. Like we, we can. It like it, it. It's 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 such a like like it's just a flat platform to build off of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we can do whatever we want here. Like we're we're yeah. we're, we're we're creating a place where we can just do whatever we want we can experiment uh yeah. like it, it, it's it's just an uh it's an open place for creation yeah and that's what, what i was going for what what like it, it, like i i really kind of changed my my thoughts about it as far as you know like going forward like as to what this could be when you know kind of like because I, I noticed you you know you started doing like the the trailer reactions and the you know, all this other stuff. And I was like, well, shit, like, you know, that could be an angle. That could be something that we do. Like that could be part of it. And then, you know, I, I think, I think really doing the, um, you know, like I, I always, I, I remember specifically always wanting to do something with like music promotion or something that was kind of in that same kind of vein or like, like reviewing stuff. 
but I guess I never really knew how to, you know, how to get into it or how to, how to really like start with it and stuff. And, you know, then we kind of started doing the, you know, like the, the couple of uh, like dark reflections that we did and stuff like even before they were dark yeah. reflections. Yeah. Like just having, yeah having conversations of like you know like oh let's you know this is cool like this you know there's getting yep. a bit more views it's a little more of a of a of a thing i suppose like you know for lack of a better term right now <laughs> yeah. you know and just kind of just you know just having that and like what's what's so cool to me about this whole thing is that like it's all been you know it's very diy you know like we we say it all the time. Like we fly that flag pretty fucking proudly. <laughs> yep. Uh, but it's, we don't know, you know what the it, it, fuck it, we're doing. Yeah. But you know, to to have that and to be able to to make something that's gonna be like, all right, you know, it is what it is. Fuck it. Post it. Whatever. Be proud fuck of it. it. You know. Yep. Is you know, it's it's kind of. Oh, fuck it is pretty much bit. the motto over here. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the fuck it button. Do what you know you got to do. And <laughs> don't be ashamed of it, basically. Hit the fucking <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times you've told me that over the last three years. Just hit the fuck it button and just go, hit man. It. Like, just hit it. Yeah. And there's There's been times where, like, I've had to full on, like, tell myself, like, just do it. Fuck it. Whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> yep. You're going to love it. yourself for this later. So just yep. do it. <laughs> yep. So. It's what's up. Oh, yeah, man. Well, hey, I am, I'm out of drink. Uh, I do have over on in the fridge, but. Yeah, no, we, you're we good. Honestly, honestly, we, 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 yeah, we probably should wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Getting pretty much tangents. Perfect. Uh, no, no, no. These are. Of the best tangents, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back and watch this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, it anyway, was fun. And honestly, uh, there's only, uh, yeah, I, I only had two things written down here that we didn't get to, and we can get to them on the next one. And not only that, um, uh, I feel, like, the- I feel like those those two things are things that I just, like wanted to bring up, but just never worked in, and I don't even know what they are, but. <laughs> Maybe, probably, actually, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, it's very possible. Um, but uh, coming up, uh, we do have... Um, oh, wait, fuck, hold on. You guys already all... Actually, no, no, no. By the time this comes out, you guys all already heard the first ever crossover podcast episode we did with fucking Bog Talk. Uh, Bog Talk podcast, man. That just came out uh, two days ago, if everything goes according to plan. And Wait, real quick, I will, I will be right back because I cannot hold this any longer. Oh, you good? No, <laughs> I'm, I feel you. But go for it. But yeah, once I got back, we'll wrap this up. All right, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, everybody, be sure to check out fucking Bog Talk podcast, a uh, brand new podcast. Uh, two of Aaron's uh, bandmates from Bog Wraith. Uh, started a podcast, Alex and Mike, and uh, they just talk about all things fucking uh, 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 comic books, superhero movie kind of stuff. Um, super knowledgeable about everything. Uh, like, like, really, actually, like, like uh, being the fact that they're like I, I, less than ten episodes in. I am absolutely fucking floored by how fucking good they are at what they're doing. I'm dead serious. Like, they are really, like, they should have been doing this a long time ago, clearly, because they're already, like, they started so much better than us. Like, it blows my fucking mind how good, how just, like, automatically good they are uh, at, at, at this. Like, it, it really is... Uh, Fina- like really awesome and you know uh the more they do the better they'll get so the better it's gonna get so uh that's that's what we're talking about tonight that's the way it works um so yeah everybody be sure to check out not only uh bog talk podcast everybody check out all things bog wraith and bog talk 
podcast, Bog Wraith and Bog Talk podcast. Be sure to check out all things those, as well as Reflection of Flesh, the band, Reflection of Flesh, all things Reflection of Flesh, and the Dipping Milk in Cookies podcast. Be sure to check out all things Reflection of Flesh and all things Dipping Milk in Cookies podcast. I the the uh, I the only things I'm ever gonna talk about on here are my favorite things. So I'm not, I'm never I'm never gonna talk about something I don't fucking like or genuinely love. And these are things I genuinely love. So like yeah, from the bottom of my heart, please check out all things dipping milk and cookies, reflections of the flash podcast, and hey, fuck it. Every fucking band we've ever, the Legend Recording Agency, uh, the Con- Convalescence, uh, Reflection of Flesh, fucking Interpreter, uh, Bravura, uh, Casket Robbery, Victims of the System, um, Cold Subject, we just did a thing for them, uh, t- fucking, I'm sorry, I should have had a fucking list written down for everyone. Uh, ball great and recorruptor. <laughs> um, but yeah, right, like, like I, no, you're you're good, you're good. I was just trying to fucking remember and rattle off all the fucking shout outs I wanted to give again, and I came to a rock. And I know I'm forgetting. God damn it! <laughs> I knew I should have fucking. I literally yeah. thought of it before we got on, and I was like. No, I'll remember him. No, you <laughs> fucking won't. Yeah. Fucking idiot. It's all good. You know uh, who you are. And casket robbery. I love yeah. it. Like, <laughs> we need to have them back on. That's another one we get. Like, I'm I actually that would be I could cool because shit. because because last night, uh, when I was uh once again, a not big announcement, our shit is back on iTunes and 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 Google uh podcasts uh i i was i was fucking you know i was going through shit and and you know i i had to listen to some of the shit to figure out what it was right um and uh so i i did listen to some of that uh casket robbery episode last night and i was like god damn it i missed them like <laughs> yeah i want to talk to them again they were so much fun and and when i would listen back on that one i can hear myself being just so fucking nervous like just i was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was so fucking like so like you know as we always say round 2 is always always better yeah. uh so i can't wait to have that with them and uh every other band that or everyone that we've ever had on uh that we haven't had on for round 2 yet i can't wait for that with you and I can't wait to just have everyone we've ever had on back on. Like what the, <laughs> like I, you know what I mean? Like it's it's the most fun thing for me. Uh, I I I can't even believe that it happens. Um, yeah. And I hope it's I and I hope it still happens uh, after the fucking pandemic is over. Because <laughs> I kind of feel like that's the only reason why it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, right? you know, you, yeah, yeah. On some partly. level, like, yeah. but, but hey, you know, but, but at this yeah. point, we know all these people, and yeah. and 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 they want to meet us in person, and uh, I'm coming for you, a suffocating lie. <laughs> I listened to that whole fucking album earlier, and I thought about you it's... guys all fucking day, and Incredible. and there's a. We're going to talk about this on the podcast I do with them, but there is a certain track. There is a certain list of songs that I listen to to get amped up to do a podcast. There is a certain track off a certain A Suffocating Lie album. (laughs) (laughs) There's only one that (laughs) is on that playlist. So we're going to talk about that. But uh, I hope you guys see this because I fucking love you guys and I'm about to be a punisher to get you guys the fuck
fuck back on here. <laughs> I fucking miss you. And I listened to your album earlier. And uh, yeah. And happy birthday to Aaron. Once again, happy birthday to Aaron from Vixen of the System. Uh, today is his birthday. Again, this is a week old, but shout out to you, brother. Fucking love you to death. All right. Um, but yeah, man, you got, you got, uh, you got anything else? Um, I don't think so. Here's to many more, I suppose. I, I, I probably I do. I had some drink here. Hang on. Let me grab a beer. <laughs> All right. So cheers. we we'll cheers this off, I suppose. Yeah, no, we got it. Cheers this off. It's three year anniversary. Let's give Aaron a minute. Uh, this, uh, anybody that's seeing this right now, if you're watching this right now, um, Oh, wait. Are you already back? He's already back. Yeah. Anybody watching this right now, (laughs) uh, it's just fucking insane to us that that anybody would be uh, watching this. We're we're, we're over... We're we're knocking on 200 episodes door. Um, That's one thing I was going to say earlier, too, that I forgot about is... uh, I, I, Way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> is uh is uh shout out to all the po- uh you know the podcasts that influence us, and one of them being the uh Joey Coco Diaz uh, uh uh Uncle Joey's Joint podcast. Um, uh, you know that's one that for both of us, we've both texted each other and said dude, this episode got me going. Like, this episode got me inspired. Um, Like, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I forgot where I was going with that. Fuck. I was going somewhere else. God damn it. Talk about about influences and stuff. and. Yeah, but that wasn't... Fuck. Mm. Well, shit. Fuck it. Who cares? Uh, Man... it's, three years it, it's it's been a ride it's gonna continue to be a ride i don't yep. foresee it being not a thing for quite some time so hey fucking cheers cheers to all y'all that are out there watching this if you made it this far if you're fucking watching this right now yeah we love you you're our fucking hero uh and comment man Give us some love. Yeah, Give yeah, us some yeah. Talk about. No, no, no. Tell us well, just, <laughs> you know, if if look, 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 I'll say this. I'll say this. I, I, I'm, I'm someone. I do that too. Like, I'm someone who's like, e- even if it's, even if it's a podcast that I know that's like, uh, not like you know, giant or whatever, like Joe Rogan's or whatever, but or Kevin Smith's or whatever, but um. I'm even someone that I'm like, oh, well, you know, I'm sure they get tons of fucking, you know, likes, shares, comments or whatever. Uh, yeah. But so I'm, 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 I'm that person where I'm like, I'm sure other people are doing it. Mm-hmm. Everyone watching this right now, no one, almost no one else is doing it. We got like one, one person. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, Jewel. I love you. <laughs> we got like <laughs> one person. And she inspired an entire series that we're about to do. So please. Don't think that we don't pay attention. Don't sure. think we don't pay attention. <laughs> and please reach out. And oh, I actually know my sister. My sister has been uh, liking a lot of her shirt on uh, Instagram lately. But um. Yeah. Oh, fuck. God damn it. My sister just started something that I need to shout out right now. Talk about something for a second. Hold on. Um, let's see. What else we got? Um, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Basically, um, kind of going forward as far as like, you know, because right. I I really talked about Bograth stuff too much. Um, yeah, give are, us a Bograth update. We are we are writing. We are in the process of putting some stuff together for 
either some singles or some, you know, so there's definitely some new music coming to you. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, as we, we have been pretty heavily affected by kind of everything else that's been going on, like everybody else has. So, you know, we're just trying to figure out ways to, to make that work for ourselves and, you know, how to how to write as a band again and how to just, you know, how to get ideas, you know, flowing and, you know, how to keep things moving and stuff. And, you know, I've been personally i've been pretty inspired by you know hearing all these bands that are like you know yeah we've never stopped or we've never you know started to do this because that kind of puts a fire in me as far as like you know wanting to get stuff going so you know i just you know sitting here right now i'd i put down a you know a drum track to a couple or a, a song on you that we've had for a little while that we're trying to you know we're kicking around and stuff we got a few others that that are kind of more like skeletons right now but you know there is you know, rest assured, like there is still stuff in the tank. There's still stuff coming. You know, there's we're still working on stuff. We're just, you know, yes. it's it's been it's been a little quiet. It's been, you know, admittedly, and that that makes me uncomfortable. But it is for it is for, you know like a calm before the storm. Like you know, it took it took tool however many years to well well yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring the thunder but yeah man like you know we're it takes time and, and i think with with this one we're kind of you know try to take a little more time with it and stuff and try to you know figure out what we you know what we like what we don't like with stuff so yeah so beyond that like there is you know you will see music from us periodically throughout the year i feel like i can say confidently um whether that's a full length, whether that's a EP, whether it's, you know, whatever, like there, we we're talking about stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know where to go with this, but no, you're <laughs> yeah. Fine. Um, yeah. So now everybody you... check out all things fucking bug wraith. Of course. Like if you're a oh, fan yeah. of this podcast, don't forget about us. What the please. fuck are you doing? If you're not fucking yeah. put, out bug a, wraith. put out an EP last year, Titan. I don't know. It's pretty sick. God damn it. We got, it is almost got a... a year old, isn't it? We got a full length oh, and shit. two other EPs that are pretty tight. They're called Viscera and, and, and Meyer. And then, then we put out a full length called Omen, which is really sick. You should probably check it out. We've shared yeah, them yeah. a lot on the, all the podcast social media. <laughs> so be sure we to check out a, all things Bograith. We have a full episode up just talking about Omen, the release of it, like two weeks before it came out. So that was pretty cool. Was that like, <laughs> that's an Maybe old it was like a day one. Before it came out. So that might be a isn't that down. like an old one though? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, like yeah, that was like before video. video. Yeah, yeah, that's an old. That's old. Oh, oh. So yeah, <laughs> go back and listen to that. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, the thing I wanted to shout out, my sister just start started a really awesome. My sister who's been on this podcast many many times. Uh, uh, I have two younger sisters, but the sister I'm talking about right now is Katie. And uh, she started a new travel blog, travel blog that I want everybody to check out. Quest Eureka on Instagram. Get that. Uh, fuck. Oh, gee. Yeah, it's not really focusing, but Quest Eureka. All lowercase one word. Quest Eureka on Instagram. Uh, check out her travel blog. Um, and uh it's uh it's it's pretty awesome and uh we're or i'm definitely gonna have her back on soon to uh to talk about that because what's hilarious is she started that travel blog after she was on uh with she was on i i think she had a segment on the uh on the christmas episode and uh i was i i said where in the world is uh uh Damn it, what did I say? Katie San Diego. <laughs> Katie San Diego. That's what I said. <laughs> really gonna like Carmen San Diego? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I was because she's always like in a different fucking place. And then she starts <laughs> a fucking travel blog. So uh Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, I love it. Everybody check that out. Um, she's been a, a regular guest on the podcast. Um yeah. Uh Fuck, man. I, 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 I know we're fucking forgetting to shout out some people, and it feels so bad because I know I'm going to remember them the second I stop recording. Well, well, <laughs> hey, 
if if you're watching this and we aren't mentioning you and you're listening to this and you're screaming at your and TV you've to been screen, on the show been on, or reached out to us in any way, shape, or form to have us do a, a, a reaction video to your video, yes, like cold yes. subject, like the, the the most recent one we did, uh, uh, revenge. yeah, oh, well, they've been revenge. on the show. Yeah. Uh, I love those guys. Um, fucking yeah. We are, this episode is dedicated to all of you, everyone that's been on the show, uh, liked anything, uh, commented, um, supported us in any way, shape or form. Uh, it, 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 it blows our minds that it's even a thing. Uh, so <laughs> like, we don't even get it. <laughs> like it, it just, it, like it's seriously like it's I uh, I don't know uh yeah no it's just it 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 means everything to us and uh it 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 blows our minds every fucking day uh so you all of you mean the fucking world to us everyone that's ever watched an episode of this shit fucking you mean the fucking world to us um. Yeah, we love you all to death, you know, like, mm. as I say at the end of every episode. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. True. You got anything else? Are you ready to wrap this one um, up? Um, hey, just a, just a simple cheers, man. Keep it fucking metal. Here's the fucking another year. Here's the three more years, you know. I mean, and that's, and that, that is one thing I forgot to go into earlier is that I thought about it like just the other day. I was like, you know what? Like, I I, I don't even know if we're going to be good at this until we're at least like five to ten years in. And we're only three years in. So <laughs> we got a lot more fun to have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I am too. And thank you. Above anybody else, I couldn't do this without you, Aaron. Thank you so much for taking this ride with me. I love you, brother. Cheers. Oh, cheers to you, man. Three years and cheers to many more. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. We've been doing this podcast. really weird. Think about it. <laughs> think about it. This time next year. This time next year, when we started doing this, the people in high school will be graduating. <laughs> Don't put that in my head right now. <laughs> there was, I saw a kid walking around the other day with a varsity jacket that had the letters 2021 on it. And I didn't know what to do with that information because I graduated 2012. So, yeah, I graduated. <laughs> um, oh, wait, don't hate, bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you were single digits. Really. Oh, eight, brother. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, anyway, <Holy> yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh, man, you're it's going to be crazy. You're still the younger generation, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. 100%. Yeah, They're the ones keeping us going. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I guess ultimately to wrap this one up, this episode is about uh, everyone that has supported us in any way, shape, or form over the past three years, ever reached out to us, contacted us, wanted to be on the show, wanted to send us something to react to, like, uh, or just anything. Um all of you mean the fucking just everything to us. Like, and, and, and it, it blows our minds that like we, we uh, made something that, that has granted us the opportunity to uh, even, you know, be in contact with any of you. So it really is extraordinarily special to us. And uh, it, it's what keeps us going uh, in a big, bad way. And, uh, it uh yeah. it makes us feel like we're doing something special here. So 
and all of you that comment, that like, that watch, like all of you, like that, that, that it, it, it's, it's all of you. So, uh, yeah, like I, I, yeah, it's, it's just, I'm sitting in a fucking basement right now. Like, I, you, like, you guys got to understand, like, it, I, yeah, like it just blows my mind that anybody fucking watches this besides us. <laughs> um, and it blows my mind that you, Aaron, and and of course, my cousin Preston, um, has taken this fucking ride with me. Like, it, like I, I kind of like conned you both into it, and and you're both still here. Uh, and yeah, I can't never thank you guys enough. Like, it blows my mind. So, like, all, all of this, all of this, like, it's just. And there, and you know, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of days where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? But then, like, the next day, something will happen where I'm like, never stop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just. Yeah. Well, yeah. And a lot of, a lot of the, the mentality and the mindset of of doing this has kind of you know gone over into other points of my life as far as like just the attitude of like just do it do it because you love it man like don't worry about anybody else don't worry about what the hell else is going on or what might be or what could be like just, just do it because it's fun you know do it because it's in. and if it weren't if this if this weren't still fun if i felt like this just sucks and i don't want to do this i would have stopped doing it like yeah two <laughs> two and a half years ago you know yep. but the fact that like you know this is still you know it it keeps me up on on what i love it it keeps me interested it it helps you know just like pr as far as like promotion and stuff but it also is just you know like it's it's these kind of episodes that that we you know that we do that just kind of you know that are just kind of about whatever that that are that it's that's the you know the bread and butter man that's like it's it's and that's like really kind of like the thing that it gets me is like you know the the tangents and the 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 smaller stuff and the just the the weird like you know segues and stuff is is like it, it so makes it what it is really and so you know but without without that knowledge of it and without just that kind of you know, thing going forward with it. I don't, I don't know if this would be as fun as it is. <laughs> so, and sometimes, sometimes it is a little bit nerve wracking as far as like, or I don't know if that's really the correct term for it, but, um, you know, I just think to, it is. To, to, to post stuff without having a whole ton of editing and to post stuff fairly raw as we do is sometimes <laughs> a little bit of like a you know I, I hope that i come correct with everything and i feel like up to this point we have and up to this point if there's anything that's that's been said that is incorrect we've we've done pretty well to to be right about it and stuff so <laughs> but yeah man like it's been it's an evolution know, I've, yeah i've i've learned a lot doing this i've you know, I'm still learning a lot doing this. I've, you know, I've learned a lot about myself and, you know, just the work ethic of it and stuff. But the, you know, the thing that, the thing that always gets me is like, you know, we, we started this and, and, you know, nobody is like forcing us to do this. Like nobody's, you know, that's, I, I know we've had private conversations about it as far as like, you know, like nobody's, nobody's really like forcing us to, to, you know, make, videos or to uh, do podcasts with bands and stuff it's like this is all it's all just out of love and that's all and that's it's all organic all, yeah you know it is as long as it continues to be that as long as it continues to be something that like it's it's i just you know i i love metal i love music i love drums i love you know this kind of stuff and it's as long as it continues to be that for as long as you know however long we do it it's like hey you know fuck it Let's let's go, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, no, I have no intentions of this format ever changing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, brother, we're locked in, and uh, I can never thank you enough uh, for taking this ride with me, and I can never thank anybody who's watching this right now to, uh, you know, have taken this ride with us. If you have, you know, 
uh, anybody that's been on or anything. Um, oh, yeah. Close my mind. Uh, well, that's about all I got. I don't know. I want to wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Uh, one more cheers. Oh, yeah. Infinite. Cheers, my brother. <laughs> All Great right. local. Yep. Cheers, everyone. That's going to be it for, I don't fucking remember, 170 something episode. Like 77, maybe? I don't know. Um, 78? I don't know. Uh, somewhere in there. But that's going to be it for this fucking episode. Uh, we hope we Ooh. shouted everyone out. I'm sure we forgot <laughs> some, and I'm so sorry. I should have had everyone written down, uh, but yeah, I'll try to have links. again. We are shit with names here, oh. <laughs> as it has been previously stated. So dog shit. <laughs> this should be like our tagline. We're dog shit with names. Like, that should be our tagline. Um, yeah. but uh, I'll try to tag everybody in the links in the description below. Seriously, um, and we can never thank any of you enough. It really mean like it. You have no idea what it means to us from the bottom of our hearts. Like it, it really, it really blows our minds. Anybody that, that, that likes that's on the show, that comments, that shares anything, anything at all, it blows our minds. Anybody even is aware that we exist. Um. So, uh. Well, and all alternatively, you know, if you've heard any of these episodes and if you've liked what you've heard up to this point, you know. And you want to be a part of this and, and, you know, you want to get on and promote something or just have fun with us, man, like hit us up, you know, yeah. it's the, the, the inbox is always open. Like we're, we're pretty frequent on Instagram. We're pretty active on, you know, Facebook and all the posts and stuff. And, yep. you know, we try to get back to everybody as quick as we can. And, and, you know, if, if you, if you got something that's coming out that you want to boost in any way and and you know get out there it's something that you're proud of and stuff or just something that you know you just want to shoot the shit with us because you like the show man like we any you know anybody anytime you know like it just it's we're lonely <laughs> yeah man like we're you know this is this is all out of out of just an attempt to to keep busy during a time when shows aren't a fucking thing you know and yeah and it's it's mosh pit conversation really yep. like that's what we're going for. Literally. Yeah. Like that's what we're going I don't, for. I feel like the last couple episodes have been like, oh, this is you know, it's like like conversations I have with people in, during during shows like, and stuff. And in like, between bands. Yeah, dude. Like yeah. that's to what it is, you know. So if you're yeah. if you're interested, if you've seen anything and if you're like, Man, these these fuckers are cool, man. <laughs> like or they're they're lame as shit. Let me tell them why. You know, I don't give a fuck. Like <laughs> Let's go. Let's like I want to talk yep. to you. Like let's let's do this. So yeah, seriously. Yeah. Uh yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> anybody that wants to reach out, please do. Um, we would we would love to hear from you. Um, and, and it, it really actually blows our minds that uh this the amount of people that have reached out have yeah, reached yeah out. you know what I mean? Like it's it's fucking insane. Um we can never thank them enough. Uh this this last year as hard as it was without shows and during the pandemic and all this shit, um, you guys kept us, everyone that was on and reached out during the past year fucking kept us going. So yeah. in a big, bad way, um, seriously. And there so, there were, the, there were times where it was hard. Like, yeah. For sure. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Know? Like there were, there were times where it was like, man, you know, yep. Like, Yep. Not really feeling it one night, or you know, you just kind of, I mean, yep. you know, just just people, you know, just going through shit, man. But like, you know, those sometimes, and honestly, like some, and that I feel like it kind of, you know, shined through on a few on a few episodes. But like overall, you know, like it's it's cool to to have that snapshot of of yeah. that moment, really, and yeah. you know, because like this, I mean, this like specifically talking about the last year like mm -hmm. i don't know like i i won't i won't go on too much because i know like we've we've tried to wrap this up like four fucking times now <laughs> but this is like, what we do 
Yeah. <laughs> Turn an hour episode into three hours. Hey, whatever. Just, you know, <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, just to, just to have, you know, to, to have that, that, that outlet and that, you know, just that, that time to, to reflect on things and to, to, you know, not only, not only to be able to look back at, at a time where it was, you know, maybe it was a little difficult and maybe it was a little, you know, this or that, like, you know, at, at one time or another, like, like there was, there was another, you know, there was a band or there was, there was a group of people that like, that, that wanted to, to just get away from that. And I feel like, you know, to a very, you know, more or less like specific point in time, like it, you know, like how, how many, you know, like, I guess out, outside of doing this, I don't, I can't really think of anything that is, that is as, you know, that, that pinpoints an exact point in, in the last year or that, you know, like where, where I can watch something or I can listen to something and I can see exactly where I was at, you know, or I can kind of think about like, oh, well, this was going on, you know, this happened or I was, I was feeling this kind of way and stuff. And like, there's, you know, I don't know, I guess it, it all kind of depends on, on the episode and, and, you know, what it is and stuff, but like, it's, I don't know. It's always, it's always been, been cool to just have that and just, just be able to, to call back to that and stuff, because a lot of times you don't really get that, you know, yeah. it's, it's kind of lost. So. Lost in the duck. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's uh, go, man. Let's, no, 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 that's, no, that's the really, pandering. That's, that's, no, that's a really good point. That was my whole fucking point in starting this whole fucking podcast is that, I just want to capture conversations with my friends that otherwise would get lost, literally. And it just yeah. so happened that Preston and I wrote a song when we were fucking 16 fucking years old called Lost in the Dark. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, it, just, it all just fell into fucking place at that point in time, yeah. you know? And uh, no, I, I, I agree with you. One, everything you just said is 100% correct. And I feel the exact same way. Like that's, yes, I could not have said it better. Like that was, yeah, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, everybody. Uh, uh, just just hit me with a true and we can end this. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. You know. You know, every everybody that's listening to this, uh, thank you so much uh, for listening to us babble for all this time. Um, three fucking years. And I, I, like, this is uh, <laughs> this is the longest relationship I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not lying. Fuck. I am not it's lying. Fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of bands I've been in, really, but that's another. I yeah, know, I don't know how to measure that. I suppose, but fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but uh, yep, this is that's real. That's real. Um, and uh, so anybody that's followed along with us this whole time, we can never like you guys just absolutely mean the fucking world to us, and uh, we can never ever ever thank you enough. And all of you, all of you, um, have a fucking home here in the crypt whenever you want just to shoot the shit promote whatever you always have a home here in the crypt with lost in the dark podcast 100 percent um all of you so yeah uh i just wanted to make that known and uh yeah uh i guess we'll wrap this one up you with that yeah. Um, <laughs> motherfuckers! As you fucking know. I mean, you know, we didn't really start we we haven't been doing this the whole time. Things evolve, of course. But mm. I feel like by now, anybody that watches regularly should know to raise your fucking horns and bang your motherfucking heads. We love you all to death. Good night!